day four Haydn theme and variations. Now today we're finally going to get to the variation. So for this variation section, we have similar notes to the first half because it's only a variation. A variation means that a little bit of the melody has changed, usually the rhythm, but the core of the theme stays the same. So you're gonna start on your C and we're gonna do a little practice here. So you're gonna have C first going down to G. All right, that's a hard interval to get in tune, so just play it a few times with me. Now we're going to put it into a rhythm. Good. Now a little quicker. was, but we're going to add a new note after the G, which is going to be E. So we'll have C, G, E. Just kind of like a reversed arpeggio. We call that an inversion. Then we end up back on the C again. It sounds pretty. Let's do it together. C, G, E, back down to C times that way. Make sure it sounds beautiful and ringy. Good. Now that we have those notes, we're going to put them with that jazzy rhythm. Ready? Go. four notes in one bow but with hooks. So double downs there. And then in ups. Kind of tricky. Try it out. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. two more notes. We're going to keep that one. You notice I didn't let it go when I went to the C. So let's try the last up. You see, I still have one because one is coming back two notes later. So I'm going to hop my third finger over to the D string again. And those are my next notes. So one time slowly with me. One and ready, go. finishes, you're going to put your two on the A string and move the one over next to it. Those are the next notes. So let's try putting it with the last two. You see how I just move the two and then bring the one over with it. Now back to the beginning. is when we take away those threes and smooth the bows out. So we're still going to feel the three inside. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, last note. Yeah, <laughs> all right, so once again, and. pattern comes back in this next line. So 20, 21 is the bar that it starts again. But one note has changed. So we keep but instead of doing the one, we do the three again. So you can keep the three that time. So that's a good one to do 
on its own. Ready? Go. dotted patterns that you've done in this day with me and there's only one more dotted pattern it comes in bar 29 and it uses some of the same notes with a tricky fourth finger right there at the end so you can start on that one a little bit today if you still have enough time in your practice otherwise we'll focus on it a little bit more at the beginning of day five